Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute house mini album. So I have these chipboard pieces in a house shape. If you don't have those, then you can just uh, go to your computer, go to the internet and just download any drawing of a house and cut it out as a template or you can draw it yourself if you want. So I'm going to make some pages for my mini album. I'm going to trace the house on a piece of double-sided cardstock. And I'm going to flip the house so I can have a double page that I can later fold and make it into an interactive page. So by having this center line in between the two shapes, I can fold it. They're actually a mirror image of each other. So when I fold it, they match exactly. And you can do this with any shape that you want. So now I can fold it and I have an interactive house mini album page. Isn't that cute? I can cover my chipboard with it. I'm also going to do another interactive page. This one is going to have a opening towards the top or the bottom. So the joining line is going to be on the bottom of the house shape. So I'm going to cut around and I'm going to have another type of an interactive page that is going to be really cool in my mini album. So as long as you have straight lines, you can do these tricks to create interactive pages. And like I said, you can go ahead and download any house shape that you want, very simple house shape from the internet and do this mini album. You don't need to have those chipboard pieces. Now I'm going to cut another piece of paper and I'm only going to cut the shape of the triangle. I'm going to make it into a square. And I'm also cutting just one piece of paper. I want to build on this piece of paper. So I want to create an interactive roof for the house. So by tracing only the roof triangle and making it into a square, I can fold it in half and then have an opening cute roof. For the shape of the house, the rectangle, I'm going to trace the rectangle and I'm going to do it twice like I did before and then cut it out. So basically I have Again, a flap that opens, but only in the shape of a triangle and not the entire shape of a house. So what I did, I basically divided the house, the shape of the house to the triangle and the rectangle that basically are the shape of the house. So now I have all my pages and I can go ahead and add some embellishments going to start with the cover. This is going to be the cover of my house. So again, if you want to have these shapes and you download the shape from the computer, you can go ahead and trace it to a piece of chipboard and then cut it out and have um, a chipboard house as the cover. So I'm going to use this brick stencil to create a brick pattern with some modeling paste on the front of the house. It is a house after all. So it's going to have a brick pattern. I just covered the roof with a little bit piece of paper. I'm going to get rid of the excess. So I'll have straight lines. And then you have to dry the modeling paste completely before you continue to add color or anything else on it. So I'm just spraying it with a little bit of brown, brown ink, and I'm adding some distress ink as well. 
as another layer of brown color to have the front of the house looks really real and I want to make a snowy roof so I'm going to use some embossing ink and then add embossing powder on the top of my roof to make it look like the roof is full of snow I love using embossing powder look at the effect it makes really cool so this is the first layer on the roof but I want to make it look a little bit more real so I'm going to add a little bit of modeling paste just by tapping it lightly on the roof and that it will really look like snow you can add some blink to it if you want of course don't forget to make sure it's completely dry before you continue and now I'm just going to add some details a door and a window to the front of the house I'm just going to cut some squares on a piece of paper you can draw them if you want instead of cutting them out or you can just take a door sticker and add it to the house or just leave your house plain as it is all depends on how you want to decorate the cover I've added the original chipboard door behind it as a contrast and then I'm just going to go over it with a pen just to make sure it really pops so this is my door and then I'm going to add a window as well just going to cut a piece of paper and do the exact same thing but this time I'm not going to cut anything I'm just going to draw a window so this is going to be the cover of my mini album now I can go ahead and add all the page just going to ink the edges of the pages always gives them a definition I'm going to decorate the pages I'm going to add some trees I'm going to add a snowman some stickers this part is completely up to you how you want to decorate your mini album you can it's actually a micro mini album because it's really small you can add photos you can develop really small photos and add them to the pages as well if you want you can write things inside just going to use again embossing powder for my snowman so you can use stickers you can use rhinestones you can use whatever embellishments and decorations that you want I'm adding a few stickers to my page to all the pages actually remember the two-part interactive page I'm just going to cover the chipboard with them it will look really fun so you can go really wild with decorating your pages and decide what you want to add to them I'm adding a few stickers again like you saw me do I'm going to add that final piece to the back side of the chipboard and since I've used a double-sided cardstock then I can play with the two sides of my paper and you have a different color each time or a different pattern each time on the pages so that also makes it fun so these are all the pages they're ready 
I can go ahead and bind them. Binding is really easy. I'm just going to use a ring. So I'm going to punch a hole on the top of the roof of each of the pages. And what I'm going to do on those pages that fold, I'm just going to cut a little square, I'm going to cut out a little square to allow for the hole to not interfere with the ring. So I'm going to make the hole on the back side of the page or the front, it doesn't really matter, and then cut that square out, you see? This way it won't interfere with the ring. Because if you bind both sides of paper, you won't be able to open and close the interactive parts. So you need only to make the hole on one of the papers, the ones that fold anyway. So just now insert the ring and your mini album is ready. Of course you can make as many pages as you want and it's a really fun project for holiday photos, winter photos. I've also added some ribbons. So I really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you'll be able to follow all the tutorials and make all the projects. So this is a really fun mini album that you can fill with journaling or you can fill with photos. You can make as many pages as you want. And I want to thank everyone for joining me and I will see you next time.